fantastic. All right, we're live. Ooh. Hey, everybody out there in the interweb, Facebook, YouTube land. We are the Chomsky School of Business, and we are so happy you get to join us tonight, Woo! making things up. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming out tonight. We love you, you love us, and <laughs> so enjoy it. Try not to, it's a <laughs> pandemic, so take care of yourself, pat yourself on the back. You made it, you made it out tonight. We know it's a tough thing for you to get off that couch and um, go to the bathroom sometimes and make sure you're tying into the fun things. So what we need to <laughs> do right now to make sure that we are making everything up on the spot um, is a non-geographic location. Some of you, right? You know, rental. The bathroom. Yoga mat. Yoga I studio. Heard, I heard the bathroom. I heard the bathroom. <laughs> Back of the U-Haul. Uh, we see a dark bathroom in a museum. Yeah, and, and and there's a there's a wastebasket here, and instead of like the normal like a stainless steel one, it's like this intricately Art Deco like tiled thing that you almost wouldn't know was a trash can. On the sink, uh, there's a, a wide array of like the bathroom um, concierge isn't the right word, but that's the thing I'm thinking about. The bathroom attendant. There's mints. There's gum. There's perfume samples. There's pre foil <laughs> uh, toilet paper. It's all there. Oh, uh, we, we see this, uh, this ceramic soap dish that looks like it came from the Ming Dynasty. Um, and it's got a, a little bar of dove in it. <laughs> um, we see uh, the second stall door is locked. And where there would be an opening, it's covered with bags. <laughs> Sitting in on that toilet, uh, waiting for her parents, is a 12-year-old girl who's kind of holding back tears. I came here for the gum and now it's all dark. <laughs> oh. um, we see a plumber's storefront. Uh, that's run down and shabby. It's got a big sign on the front that says, Joe's Plumbing. <laughs> um, and there's bars on the window. Just inside the door, there's actually like a really big gas grill and it's got a couple like day old hot dogs on it. Ugh. Around the window, there's an excessive amount of cobwebs that have like a kind of ridiculous number of dead flies still in them. And on the table are a series of cans that obviously uh, are a series of kinds of uh, homemade experiments, uh, homemade science experiments with little plants and little things growing out of them. Mm -hmm. um, we also see uh, pipes uh, and other bathroom uh, equipment uh, that one might use <laughs> air uh, piping or bathrooms. <laughs> uh, this this plumber strolls in 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 a jumpsuit and um, looks as if he's rifling through the plumbing equipment. Ah, uh, ah, uh, the golden pipe! I found you. I'm off. You see um, a large bronze statue um, of two bulls, horns intertwined. Oh. The statue is located within an urban downtown plaza with bricks all around, some ivy kind of um, hanging off some other brick formations. <laughs> And on the, on the brick plaza near the brick formations <laughs> um, is uh, a street, like the setup for a street performer. It's got like a brick platform lined with bricks 
And it looks like anybody could just stand up on those bricks. <laughs> At the base of that brick, of all those bricks, there's a long coil of, of rope that's been spray painted bright silver. Um, mm -hmm. And it's been used a lot. So it's kind of like run down and like bedraggled, but it's right next to the brick on top of the brick on top of the brick. <laughs> Uh, we see a 30-something uh, blonde man dressed in white, drinking a glass of wine, saying, uh. um, yeah, saying something. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope somebody comes along to do something with his rope. <laughs> Samantha? Yeah, yeah. So, so, Samantha, are you, is that you in there? Uh, yes. Wait, who, who's this? It's your father. We've been looking yes. all over for you, Samantha. All over. Well, I, I, I told you that I was I was gonna go to, to the bathroom and then I couldn't find one on the, the floor that we were on and so I had to go down down to the second floor and and then and now we're in the basement now we're in the basement how how do you think we were going to find you how I just I I get I guess I did I didn't think about how you'd find me I just thought about what I, where I needed to go and the fact you know, I'm so glad you're taking care of your needs. We talked about that on Sunday at church. So I'm really glad you're taking care of your bodily functions. But next okay. time, I don't want you going down to the basement of any establishment. Okay, honey? Even if it's the church. Our church. But what about that what about that bar and grill that's in a basement that we go to all the time? Am I not supposed to? <laughs> Samantha? I am your father speaking. I don't like this attitude where you talk back to me. I'm, and I go ahead. I I feel like every time I try to clarify something, you think I'm talking back to you, but I'm just trying to make sure I understand what you're saying. <laughs> I love you very much. <laughs> Well, good day, Joe. Fancy <laughs> me here in a, this storefront we have going on. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, this is where I work. Um, surprised you were surprised to see me where I work? Oh, surprise is not quite the word. I just, you know, your, your reputation for, for having pipes of gold just really is it at weird odds with the way that you, you keep up this place. It, it feels a little dis disconcerting, dis un un unincongruous. That's definitely a word. <laughs> I don't know your fancy words, okay? I am not trained, I'm a, I'm a simple plumber. I do plumbing. I just happen to have a gift for science. So I engage in uh, different kinds of thing that, you know, this pipe here, I made that, it used to be lead, now it's gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. I actually kind of understand maybe the need for secrecy, for keeping a low profile when you're not only a plumber, but actually it seems an alchemist. <laughs> Again, I don't know what you're talking about. I just, <laughs> I don't know words like alchemy. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Oh, it turns out you do. It turns out you have you have you have a gift that I need, and now I'm forced to come into this weird, dusty hot dog store. <laughs> <laughs> only one in town. Edit. Oh. Yeah. It was really, um, it was a great act that you had. Yeah, th I, uh, you know, I, I feel like I was more of a facilitator than anything, you know? <laughs> it's like the rope moved through you. 
<laughs> exactly. Uh, like the rope, you know, I'm just like, I know the physics. I know what the rope wants to do, you know? <laughs> Can I touch it? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> wow. You know, when, I, when I'm not here, the rope's its own, its own art. But it, it's not doing it for me. It did it for you, but it's not. <laughs> you know, you're probably just not like the artistic vessel that I am. Some of us, you know. <laughs> um, no, here's the thing. I, I am an artist. No, I, I, I know you. Some of us uh, appreciate art. Uh, and some of us are true vessels. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, but uh, see, I'm a vessel. I... <laughs> what art do you specialize in? I paint here and there. I... Yeah, see, I, I never touch a brush. I only touch rope. So that's like my thing. So you're, you're probably great at painting, you know. The way you said that makes me think you don't really believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd be happy to go to like, you know, a gallery opening or something, but. I've never been in a gallery. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to, you know, do you have any pictures on your phone or? That's a, it's a fine, it's a fine vessel you have there. Thanks, thanks. Uh, it's, a, it's a big one. It holds, it holds a lot. <laughs> you, could, uh, you could fit a uh, you know a couple hundred gerbils in that bad boy you could fit you could fit like two dead bodies uh 200 gerbils you could fit a, a higher and like a like a state fair pig what <laughs> i am so glad you mentioned that hey do you want a margarita I just I, I made some, I made some margaritas. I thought you might, Jan, Jan, have a margarita. Well, well sure. So you, you do always offer me some kind of drink when I'm hanging out with you, so I really appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's, that's, so that's good. a delicious margarita stew, but let's get down to brass tacks. What's going to happen with the pig plan? With the, with the what? I missed that. Look, I shouldn't have yelled that. The, the pig plan. <laughs> God damn it, Jan. Is your phone off? They're gonna hear us. So you, you, you're plying me my security slipping already. You're right. I came here really in like security conscious mode and now I got <laughs> Yeah. Not helping. Hey, um are you talking about the pig plan? I'm Whoa. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> officer, officer, we're not talking. No, what? What? You officer, man, you know, uh, when I'm not wearing the hat, my name's Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, this is my private abode. Um, I don't, unless you have a warrant, I don't know if you can allow, technically, legally allowed to be in my private place. <laughs> Look, no worries, because nothing's going on here. Uh, Kevin, we're talking about the, the jig stand, right? The, the jig <laughs> So you tried that hat off. That was, that was, that's how you snuck into this place? <laughs> Look, I thought that, you know, like, I thought the best cover was to like, pretend I was dirty, you know? What? So, <laughs> what? That you were? Oh, I see. You mean like you were a dirty cop? Is what? Yeah. You're yeah. No, I, mean, I know we're all filthy. I'm not a dirty cop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I. I just. I. I'm. I, I'm just. Listen. We've been working on this case for three years, and we send you in as an undercover person, and you decide that your undercover is that you're actually a cop that's dirty? <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought, you know, the most direct route was to say, I just am who I am, I want in. <laughs> yeah, and, and how, did it, how did it work? I said, um, are you talking about the pig plan? And then they froze up. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> Long day there. 
Yeah, I mean, we made a lot of a lot of progress on the excavation site, um, but I am feeling it. Ah, uh, you need you need some magic fingers there. What's uh what? <laughs> Frank? <clears throat> Thank you. Oh. I love it when you trust me enough to turn all the way around. Yeah, let me let me get, let me get deep in that shoulder. There, there you go. There you go. There. Yeah. <laughs> um, huh. Uh -huh. I I think I think we're on the verge of a really big discovery. Wow. You, you're gonna tell me what it is. <laughs> it may be life changing for us. Yeah, I said us. Like us in our direct family, or like us? Oh, like not like the human species, just just us. <laughs> <laughs> we can finally run away together. <laughs> hours all of these all these days at the at the site matches weeks months it's why we became archaeologists <laughs> really paid off we can get out of here finally go to egypt <laughs> just god the prestige you know i know i know we've been just like slaving away in western south dakota for so long. <laughs> yeah. Cindy, this is our big break. We'll have to break every rule in the archaeological handbook, though. <laughs> what rules, Frank? Every one of them. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You, uh, player number 15, you've broken three different rules today. Uh, <laughs> wrong rules. I mean, sorry. <laughs> it's my first day. It's my first day, um, uh, you know, refereeing. But you uh, broke a lot of rules, number 13. Okay, I, you know, this, I, this, I'm playing tic-tac-toe. Sorry, referee timeout. Can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> yeah, here we go, one second. Player 13. Hey. Don't go, hey, don't go far, player 13. Yeah, come back over here, 13. Oh, I'm, I'm here. I told you to stay near. I told you not to go too far away. Yeah, it's just, you don't wait for him to, to get a whole bunch of fouls. You got you to gotta call a rule at a time, okay? But I, I, I sometimes there's the, the rule. I mean, look at, Terry, look at these things. There's like 50, 60, there's like 70 rules in this book. Armand, I know. <laughs> Aaron, I don't like when you use my full name in front of the, the masses. I'm not going to call you Arnie on the field. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm sorry. I shouldn't call you Terrence, but I appreciate that. I didn't, you know, but I'm, there's just so many, and some of them are interrelated. Like, what's the, they touch Armand, the ball? Armand, yes. get back out there, call the game, okay? Okay. I'm going to go over to my side. Okay. Th thanks, Terry. Play at 13. Yeah. You, touched, you touched the ball with an upper appendage, and it's the other. I'm sorry, Armand. Is there a dog in the? <laughs> <laughs> it's a regulation as well. Just make sure you cite him for that. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't know what's happening here. I just walked into this park with my dog, and all of a sudden, you think I'm playing. I'm, I'm, I, I'm sorry. Shut up, number 13. You do not get to talk back to me that way. This is my first <laughs> big game, and you're not going to take this glory away from me. You, just, you, know, you stay right there. You stay right where I want you. <clears throat> Rule infringement number 36. Touch the upper arm appendage to the, to the round vesicle <laughs> with a, and a dog, with a dog. Sorry, Armand, can I see that book? This is an anatomy textbook, Armand. <laughs> I'm studying to be a nurse. Um, 
I'm glad you came over. I just wanted to see if you wanted to, um, I don't know, like hang out in the basement. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not allowed to go into basements. <laughs> like damn, it's you know, it's a Midwest summer right now. It's so humid, it's just so cool in the basement. That's like I just hang out with my friends in the basement all the time. <laughs> I mean you know, even as old as we are, if my dad finds out I was in a basement, I'm going to get in the <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, I guess we can, like, hang out in the dining room and sit on hard wooden chairs instead of, like, the cushy-ass sectional that, like, my parents got to hang out on. Cushy-ass <laughs> sectional. I, man, this is a real catch-22. Okay. Um. Dunya. Uh, son. Uh, I think it's time to have a basement talk with you. <laughs> um, Look, I, I said no. I said, you know, I really want to go down to the basement, but I can't. Good. I'm glad, I'm glad because, you know, I've, I've taught you, I've brought you up really well. I've, I've taught you that you only go to the basement when you're, when you're ready, you know? It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I... Yeah, go ahead, son. I, don't, I felt ready. No, but that's, it's just not the way it works. It's just not, that's not how we, that's not the people we come from. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to the basement. We, you know, it has to. You have to progress. You got to, you know, maybe go to the kitchen first. <laughs> Look, maybe I'm too, you know, too young. But you old fogies, you know, the basement. You save the basement for marriage. We don't save the basement for marriage all the time anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's hurting me. That's hurt. It's hurting. It's hurting. I'm not saying I haven't. I'm just saying, you know, like get in touch with the cultural milieu. Luis. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm the new kid in school, but I was just wondering do you want to go up to the attic? That was fun. That was a good one. That was fun. <laughs> this is happy. It's, it's, it's way better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, you did. You <laughs> I love knowing that you just had such low expectations. Yeah. For it Man, I thought this was going to be dog shit, but it turned <laughs> out like, okay. <laughs> I hope the audience feels the same way. Oh, yeah. don't worry about them. Totally. What'd you say, Dunes? I said, don't tell us if you don't feel that way. This is not the time for a critique. Yeah, keep all. it to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Um, the basement kids hanging out. Did, did anybody else, did any of you have friends that had like a really cool place to hang out that it was like just the kid zone? Like our team zone when you were growing up? I did. It was mostly because we had a rich kid. There was a, a rich kid who lived like up in the hills and he had a really big attic and his parents would like put us up there with a bunch of pizza and like video games, you know. That's, what about you, Garrison? I want to hear more about that, Mike. That sounds way cooler than any of the poor kids I hung out with. <laughs> <laughs> I hung out in the freeway. So. Did you say you had a freeway? Yeah, I mean, that's, that, was, that was the space that I was, hung, you know, go play in the freeway. Go play in the freeway. <laughs> or under the freeway. Which I was hanging out in a vacant lot on a dirt pile. Yeah. <laughs> That's just last week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but also I, when I was 12. Yeah. My best friend have, to have like a tricked out basement, but enough like lack of adult supervision where a lot of activities involve just like putting mattresses on top of each other and then launching down the stairs to like jump on your mattress rolled up mm -hmm. friends. 
Hell yeah. Yeah. Is that what, is that yeah. what you did, Dunes? When we were like eight, yeah, that's what we did a lot. I did that when I was 18. That's right. Okay. <laughs> I mean, no, I, I didn't really do that. I just thought that'd be funny. I, that's not true. I wasn't true. <laughs> when no I one can walk a joke back like Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Where you like banter set has to include at least one lie, so that's movies yeah. can't, movies can't lie anymore because Mike already did it. You yeah. said at least when when I was twelve, they would send us, you know, uh, over to my uncle's house who lived kind of in the country, and there was nothing to do there, you know. But he, this, I'm not kidding, uh, I'm not lying. Uh, my uncle would give us a twenty-two and say, "Go, go shooting. You can't really hurt yourself with a twenty-two." <laughs> And I can't imagine that happening now. I can't imagine him grabbing a 12 year old and going, here's a 22, yeah, yeah, you'll be okay. Just don't point it at yourself. Yeah, or, or someone else. Yeah, that's yeah. okay, no, it's cool. It's cool, it's what you do. I remember, Jesus. I remember when I was in the middle of nowhere, like, <laughs> what's, what's exciting? Like, I remember like, man, we're going to McDonald's today. Like, it's, <laughs> it's comical to me. <laughs> <laughs> that it's like we're going to freaking McDonald's. <laughs> Everybody pile in. We're gonna make a day of it. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you go up there? What's happening? Not much. Hey, <laughs> that was that was great. And I think we have enough fodder to go off of for our second set. So <laughs> let's hop to it. Two. So you, you shot me. <laughs> <laughs> I also brought you coke and a fries. <laughs> Can you hold them for me? Okay. I'm holding my flesh wound. <laughs> uh, um, it, um, can I, you'll forgive me, right? Aside from getting shot, today was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think if we remember the first part of the day, just forget about the second part. I'm really be, focusing on that. It would be a pretty good date, don't you think? This was a date. <laughs> <laughs> I should, no, 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 that's on me. I should have known. I mean, the way... <laughs> I, I just, I, I, I don't know, maybe I. I can't just, believe I didn't see it. Yeah, do you see it, do you see it now? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I do. So was it, was it, was it good? I mean, it, I mean <laughs> we were jumping, we were jumping on, on, on some couches and, and then we. I know what we were doing. <laughs> I'm trying to draw the attention away from the bleeding arm. So kind of you. You're you're very kind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I don't know how I'm going to explain it to my parents. Um, uh, <laughs> what if you just don't say anything? <laughs> yeah. Please. Yeah, oh. yeah, I mean, hi, how, I, I know you were hanging out with your, with your new friend today. How, how'd it go? I'm good. I'm just, um, just gonna head to my room. Yeah, for, for some reason, something looks really unclear about a specific part of your body that for some reason I can't fully see right what are you now. What talking about? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm trying to like hone in and get closer. I see your, uh, your right arm real good. Yep. <laughs> Um, <laughs> those fish, those little <laughs> and you want to see my left? Um, I why I um, <laughs> well, you know, hey, good, good to there it is, it's on this side. Oh, okay, that's wow, yep, lovely hand you've got there. It's um, fine. Cool, I just wanted to ask about your time with your new friend, and then this seems. A little weird. Weird. What are you talking about, Mom? Well, <laughs> are you? 
You're being weird. <laughs> well, I do feel pretty weird. Are you okay? Hey, Sal. Uh, 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 uh yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm glad you came. I'm glad you came out tonight. Listen, uh, listen. We can't go to the freeway because my brother got hit last night by a car. <laughs> I know, I know. Don't, don't talk about it. <laughs> can I, can I, uh, ooh. I mean, we can, we can still go. It's just, we'll be, it's just kind of, you know, we'll be going against my, you know, the best wishes of all of the elders or whatever. Do you want some gum, by the way? I bought a big peck of hubba bubba. Okay. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> <laughs> you look so good tonight, Sal. You look awesome. You like you put like glitter on your hair again. I love that. No, that. Uh, come on, that that was an app. Wait, you like you liked that? Yeah, I love that, Sal. <laughs> Can I touch it? I'm gonna touch your hair. Just put your head down. <laughs> Get it in there, you know. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Oh, it's kind of sticky too, huh? That's. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Well, I, I ran out of pomade. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Like, Sal, we're calling you in today to the Council of Elders. <laughs> <laughs> No, Denise, I've been racking. Sorry, Elder Denise. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I've been racking my brain, and you know, I couldn't, I couldn't think. There's one thing, but I don't think it's elder worthy. You know. Well, you could name it and guess, or I can just tell you, I didn't come here to play games. <laughs> no, no games. Play it on me. You know that our scripture expressly prohibits. The freeway. I know, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Driving on the freeway, hanging out under the freeway. Look, I, I'll tell you I had a moment of weakness and I almost, but then the night before the girl that I was going with brother was hit. So then we didn't go. <laughs> uh, thank you for being under the freeway with me. I really appreciate it. I just don't you feel like God, I feel like so bad, you know? <laughs> you, mean, you mean bad in a good way? Like bad. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're not i don't know but, you know your parent and our parent we they we grew up together we know we're not supposed to be here not at all <laughs> so, <laughs> <tell They're afraid. sighs> what i don't know i feel like you know what are they afraid of we're gonna start doing graffiti or something <laughs> I, I don't think it's like that i think it's more like a you know just like a, like, like a religious taboo you know but I don't know. I guess my brain is just wired to think like taboos come from somewhere. <laughs> I've, I've never thought of it that way. My brain is my brain is tapped into like let's break the taboo. That's how I think. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just the way I'm thinking is probably like the Mennonites in Babylon probably just like hated people who lived under freeways, which is really bad. <laughs> You know what else I brought? Shh. Pepsi. <laughs> Caffeine. Caffeine. Luis. Uh, son, do you know why I pulled you over? No, Dad, I don't. <laughs> Crazy that I work as a state trooper. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> you see the plate? 
Can you let me slide? <laughs> you were driving next to the freeway, so. <laughs> I was taking the side street on purpose. Yeah, and then you turned onto the exit ramp and then proceeded to drive on the shoulder of the freeway. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought that if it was the shoulder, I was kind of in a, it was like a loophole. <laughs> Do you see what I'm doing here, son? You're scribbling something. <laughs> Is it like when mom's on the phone and she does circles? <laughs> she starts doing circles just to kind of occupy herself? Is that what, is, what, is that what you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> No, son, I'm writing you a citation. What's like to read a book later? Come on. <laughs> I need you to take this more seriously. Just because your just because your dad is elder chief of police doesn't mean you're gonna get away with this. Right. Breaking laws is only for cops. You told me a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I know. I came in in a mood, you know. No, it's fine. It's so, it's fine. It's fine. Look, look, look. And here's the thing. I feel like, God, all I ever do is rag on our kids anymore. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. You Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not okay. It's not fun. How did I ever get in this role where everything is trying to interrogate, like, what the kids are doing? God, what? What happened to what, what life used to be like in our 20s, you know? I think we should put a bunch of mattresses at the bottom of the stairs and jump on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. I mean, Do you want a margarita? <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> so, you go, Tiger. Tiger sometimes girl. Margarita, sometimes a margarita is less appropriate, but I think in really bringing this mood, <laughs> this is appropriate margarita, so thank you. It's great flavored. <laughs> I say I love crunching the ice from margaritas. Listen, yeah, the kids fuck those kids. I think you and I let's just have like a fun afternoon. We're gonna jump down two flights of stairs onto a pile of mattresses. <laughs> hey, there's three upstairs. There's two in the basement. You know, at first that sounded real weird, but then I kind of <laughs> like the idea of where this might go. Oh, I love the idea where this might go. <laughs> Platonic. <I> mean... <laughs> uh, officer. Yes. But it looks like they jump and they broke their necks. Oh my god. <laughs> my god. All right, bag them and tag them. <laughs> I mean, is, is that what you see? I just, I, you know, it's uh, years of detective work makes me look like they were up here. They put a mattress. Uh huh. Yep. I see it up there. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Hang on a second. Yeah, see this? Oh, yeah. Mattress residue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, put it in a bag. The banister's lousy with it. The detectives will do that. Okay. All right. So anyway, so I just I, I just wanted to bring you here to kind of have a conversation about your son. <laughs> what what about my son? Well, you know, um, there's there's a in the bathroom and you know out in the public bathroom out in the park. Uh, the it says he'll he'll go by the freeway with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say about my son? No, I didn't say that about your son. You I just said that. said that about my son. I said that in the par in the bathroom, in the public bathroom. You're believing something you read on a public bathroom wall? Don't, don't, I'm just a messenger, oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> I called you a partner. Get down, I am. <laughs> That's way out of line. So <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. So I think I'm going to choose, I think I want the gold piping, um, 
<laughs> in the in the master bedroom. You, can you can you do that? Yeah, gold <laughs> pipe. I mean, I can literally do anything you want. We see that they're in the house with the dead body still hanging. Don't, yeah, don't don't mind. <laughs> Don't mind the don't mind the dead bodies. They're gonna rot away in a couple months. Don't <laughs> don't worry about it. It was it was on it was on sale cheap. I I apprenticed as a crime scene tech for a while. It's gonna take really? more than a couple months for those bodies to decompose. <laughs> I mean, I I guess yeah, sure, sure, sure. Let's do that. That wasn't uh, do what <laughs> from longer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, longer, Joe. <laughs> okay, I mean, I can, I can reupholster the place, but you know, just but leave the body, leave the bodies where they lie. I mean, I, I want the kids to understand that that life has consequences. You know, <laughs> that, that is coming for all of us. All of us, you, me, them, they're gonna die someday. And what better way to say that with these than to see dead bodies every day that are decaying slowly over months? There not to be a better way. You know what? There might be a better way. Are you are you are you talking about my parenting right now? This is not that's not your place, Joe. I asked you to do our kids to see that face every day as it slowly decomposes. Maggots in our house, maggots in our home. Joe, Joe, it's okay. Do you want do you want to? Do you want a cup of coffee? <laughs> I, I made some Irish coffee. Every so. time, every time you do something to try and upset me, you try and hand me Irish coffee because you know it will take off my, you know, my butt. The take it. You're already confusing me. Take it. It's Irish coffee. It's your favorite. I I'm saying no. <laughs> <laughs> and. And I'm saying that I don't think that children should be exposed to three dead bodies <laughs> in our home daily. You know, it's not like, it's like people are fornicating on the freeway, okay? <laughs> elders, you know, having some kind of sullen seance. They're dead bodies. It happens every day. <laughs> Dad? Dad? Yeah. Yeah? Which dad do you want? Which dad dads. do you want? Both, both dads. <laughs> um, I, I just, um, that guy's creeping me out. No, he's not, honey. He's not creeping you out. Um, I'm having nightmares. Uh, those are, those that, you know, we all have nightmares, honey. I'm so glad you brought that to us. I see you and I hear you and you're wrong. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Could you give me a moment with your father, uh, sweetie? What? What? Could you give me just a moment with your father? You can but stay in the room. Stay in the room, honey. Just go and stay in the corner. I'm gonna. No, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go in the closet. No, stay here. Stay nearby. Damn it, that boy. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop trying to incept us, okay? Telling us that we don't mind dead bodies. Telling us, yes, we do want Irish cream. Coffee. I'm sorry. Joe, you're right. You're right. I see that. I, how do I deal? How do I deal with the trauma of my childhood, but bring it out into theirs? <laughs> you don't. Oh. I'm going to have another Irish coffee then. <laughs> and. And Garrison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you're here to deal finally with your childhood trauma. I am. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've been, my kids are going to have to go through so many years of therapy because of me. I mean, yeah, it is going to be court mandated therapy. You are correct about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I take that in and I hear that. And it hurts. It hurts right in here. 
<sighs> Thanks, Flower. You're the best therapist. I mean, really just sending people right into the heart of their pain without doing any resourcing work first is really what I do best. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I brought a little bottle of margarita with me. I'm just, do you want some? I'm going to sip it over here. <laughs> oh. You seen my dog? Oh, edit. I thought that was the show. <laughs> what? I don't know. What what happened? <laughs> <laughs> kind of alone in the void. Sure. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm kind of freaking out. People are appearing, disappearing. Oh, no, that's that's normal. Nobody's lived in this house for 20 years. <laughs> I'm hearing weird noises. There's like like maybe a ghost dog. Like yeah. Chicken. Have you ever seen The Sixth Sense? I, I, I may, yes, I have. It was with Bruce Willis and Haley Joel Osmond. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, okay, I just said yes because I was trying to be cool. I actually don't know what you're talking oh, about. <laughs> spoilers alert. Um, <laughs> the, the child can see dead people. They can see dead people? That's it, yeah. That's really good. Okay, but wait, why are we talking about this? I'm confused. I think that's what you're experiencing. I said, nobody's lived in this house for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> is it clicking for you? Is it just? Uh, I think you're gonna have to spell it out a little more. I think I got the newbie part and then the 20 years. I was murdered in cold blood in this very room where we stand. Oh, oh, so the movie is connected to your murder. Kind of an art imitates life situation. <laughs> <laughs> You're an artist. <laughs> Do you like to see my rope uh, trick? Please. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the haunting is fine, but it's a lot of brick. Good job everybody for coming out. We really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed doing it. Isn't it great? <laughs> Fabulous. Woo! Woo! Yeah. It was great. Woo! It was amazing. Thanks, y'all. Thanks. Yeah. Greetings. Greetings from Sacramento. Oh, Ooh. Sweet. Sacramento. What about from Idaho? Who's, is someone from Idaho here? Who's, who's that? Idaho's here. What about from, isn't there someone from the Dakotas? <laughs> no. Oh. Are you going to go through all the states? <laughs> Roll call! <laughs> Is somebody here from the Dominican Republic? <laughs> uh, folks, thank you so much for, for coming out uh, to your home and watching. <laughs>